me fix it and make this town real smoking. I uploaded a video to Twitter titled Tekken 8 Installation Stopped. I later uploaded that same video to YouTube as well. And in this video, I was showcasing that through the Xbox app, you can start to download Tekken 8. Once you turn on your console, the download will start and then after a second or two, depending on how fast your connection is, it will stop. Once it stops, the file size will be 316.8 megabytes. A day before on Twitter, I really was kind of confused as to what was happening. I tweeted out every time I turn on my Xbox, Tekken 8 starts trying to download itself. And at this point in time, I forgot that I told Tekken 8 to download via the app. A lot of people started to respond and a lot of people started to do their own research. Mr. Shunshine was the first person to respond with a picture that says download the console. And for those of you who don't know what this is, this is the Xbox app you can download to your phone. And on your phone, you can tell the app to download Tekken 8, which is how you get to where I was in the video. Now, the reason why so many people are talking about this is because usually when a game is not out yet, you cannot download it. You may be able to add it to a wish list or you may be able to pin it, but you cannot download any parts of it. So the fact that there is something there to download, a lot of people are coming to the conclusion that this is a beta. In the past, with every Tekken game before it released, it kind of had a beta phase on arcades. Tekken 7 Fader Retribution released in arcades in 2015 and then it released on consoles and PC two years later. Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8, neither one of these games had said anything about arcades. I don't even know if you will be able to play them in arcades. So what makes sense for Tekken 8 to find a new way to sort of enter that beta phase, Tekken 8 Faded Retribution, or whatever name they would like to call it. A tweet from Rafflemonger, I really didn't know who this person was until this discussion. They made a video about it, and they also talked about it on Twitter. I love the response. It says, well, here's an interesting development. Could be a lot of things, really. Eternal build being pushed live accidentally. I did know about this for about two weeks. Uh, I think two weeks ago is when I initially told the the app to download Tekken 8. But the reason why I didn't really talk about it or, or make any post about it is because I didn't think anything of it. It sort of just clicked yesterday. Like maybe I should talk about this. Maybe I should see what other people think about that. Rafflemonger says in a response to add naturally, Tekken 8 is on Xbox store. It's also on PlayStation store, but normally they don't exactly let you start a download. They would just be an empty info pre-order slots. So that means something is there in capacity, which is eye raising. If you go to any other game that isn't out yet, you may be able to do a pre-order. You may be able to add it to your cart, but never before have I seen you be able to start a download for a game that isn't out yet. I am extremely excited to see what happens at the game awards in only three days. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully it is a beta. We know it's going to be a trailer. Who knows how massive this reveal can truly be. Definitely hit that subscribe button. I'll be making more videos as more information is discovered and also released. And I also want to say I appreciate everyone. So many different people made videos, news articles, posts to Reddit, to Twitter talking about this. And, and I do want to say uh, thank you. I didn't really start off this as like, let's go viral. It kind of just turned into that. But I do appreciate the community being open to that. So that's going to be it for this video. As always, thank you everyone for the support, for the follows, for the subscriptions, for the ideas. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.